Hey, and good morning, beautiful people. It's, you know what, I have no idea what the date is. 16th, 17th, probably the 18th, actually, of September. It's a week on from getting wedded. And today I'm taking the dogs somewhere completely different because I just really felt I needed to be near the sea. And I wanted to watch the sunrise, which I've just done. And I'm walking to Talent. So, yeah. It's pretty beautiful, huh? So, I'll, uh, I'll be taking snippets of the walk as I usually do, so you can enjoy it too. And we'll catch you later. I think Pip and Rebus are happy with the change as much as I am. They're just having a really good sniff, so it's a beautiful morning. And so far we've not met anyone, which is nice as well. And I think it's going to be another one of those gorgeous, gorgeous days. So Simon and I will be outside a lot and um, just enjoying each other's company and life and the beauty of where we are. I really need to get this lens fixed as well. The glare is quite bad, so. Isn't it gorgeous? What are you doing? Come on, up you come. Good boy, gently, gently. Pippi, come. Roseland Peninsula and a tiny bit beyond. Super clear. Yeah, my happy place. Rebus, no, don't you go down there. Rebus was just going to be really stupid. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? And I love how all the colours are turning now into beautiful russets and oranges and fading away. It's just gorgeous. So, as most of you already know, Simon and I got married after four years together. Simon proposed just after midnight on the 1st of January 2020, after a pretty stressful 2019, thinking that 2020 would be much better and fitting to get engaged. Little did we know what the world had in store for us and everyone, but needless to say, Life got very complicated and we kind of pushed getting married further and further along. 
When we came back to the UK, thoughts of getting married came to the fore again, and we called the registry office to inquire about possibilities. We didn't get through, but left a message. Weeks and weeks after we called, and we'd almost forgotten about it all again, we finally got a call back, and we booked a tiny registry office wedding for up to six people, on a date that was meaningful to us, the 9th of the 9th. We wanted to keep the wedding small and private, with only a handful of close friends to join us for the day, so it would be stress-free and it would keep the cost down. We went to find a wedding dress together and I bought a pre-loved one from a lovely little shop that specialises in offering second-hand and ex-display dresses. The wedding industry is one of the most wasteful industries in the world and we felt it would be much nicer to find something that was pre-owned. I also decided to make my own wedding bouquet and the buttonholes from silk flowers so they could be reused in some way. Simon also gifted me a beautiful second-hand pearled necklace to go with the dress as a surprise. This too was a second-hand bargain find, but it was too long to go with the dress. So I took it apart and watched lots of YouTube tutorials on how to restring and not pearls, and I did it all myself. The necklace was perfect in the end. Simon wore a suit he'd kept from previous occasions and he matched it with a £4.99 charity store find Oxford shirt and a beautiful set of mother of pearl cufflinks which he found for £5 on eBay. It was all just perfect. It felt wonderful and meaningful to choose the dress together and sit and make our own flowers and buttonholes and pull the whole day together on a shoestring. We only had four weeks from the moment we gave notice of our wedding until the big day, and it kind of crept up on us very, very quickly. With the wonderful summer weather we had, and the many other projects I had on the go, time literally flew by. Bye, Bess. Beep, beep, bop. Come on. Come on, guys. What are you eating, Pip? Like any bride-to-be, I was in a happy days of dreaming about the big day, working out hard in the gym to get the pounds off, and stressing about whether I would fit into the dress on the day. Whatever possessed me to get a super-fitted pencil dress was to haunt me for six long weeks. The last fitting nearly gave me a heart attack as the seamstress struggled to get the zip up. Yet I knew I had lost weight, but I'd built up too much muscle through rowing training, so she had to take the whole bodice apart to give me room to breathe. It was only after the wedding that I realized just how much stress the dress had actually created within me as the tension of will it fit or not and can I breathe and move on the day or not was finally released. Thank goodness for long walks in nature and lots of little crafting projects to keep me occupied and you will be happy to know that yes I did fit into the dress and we had the most beautiful, magical day. We stayed over in a spa hotel with two close friends on the night before and had a lovely meal together. And then we just had the most wonderful day with our friends 
and many surprises along the way. It was just perfect in every single way. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? See you.